Okay, so uh, we've got here radius of the wheel is 16, and we're always going to start the reflector directly beneath the axle of the wheel. So that's that's just important for sort of uh, getting started reasons. And let, let's look at these. Uh, now I've only assigned one and three, and it sounds like you're okay with one. But let me just walk through that very quickly because we're going to basically just be generalizing that in three. And that goes as follows. Uh, the wheel's moving straight along the x-axis. So here's our wheel. The reflector is... Oh, let's see, is the reflector is a fixed distance of 10 from the axle. Okay, so there's the axle. There's the initial reflector. And we're just going to be rolling along that way. Okay. So what's easy to parameterize is the center. The axle itself is no problem. The axle is just um, moving straight along the x-axis. Now, we have to decide what we want to parameterize this by. Um, there, there are different choices. Uh, you could parameterize with respect to time. That's very common. But a clever choice is to parameterize by the total angle that it's rotated by. Right? And I think we did that in the example in the book. So um, the x position is just going to be uh, 16 theta, and then y and z are both 0. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, pardon me, y is 0 and z is... Uh, what's the radius of this thing? 16, that's right. So uh, 16. There we go. Right. Okay? Okay. So that's the axle. Um, then from the axle, let me draw a bigger, just a bigger version of the picture here. Uh, here's the, horizontal, the vertical starting point. And then as it's rotated, the actual reflector, oh, uh, sorry. Here's the wheel. Here's the reflector starting point, and then the reflector is there. And if it's rotated by some angle theta, then that little vector, sort of, you know, r minus a, is easy to write down as, which is a little bit of trig. So that, that distance there is 10. And let's see here. It's going to be negative sine. Oops, ah, I forgot the 10 negative 10 sine theta, and let's see, the y-coordinate is always 0, and the z-coordinate is, uh, n yeah, negative 10 cosine. So we know a, we know r minus a, you add them up, and that gives you r. Right, okay, we're going to do the same kind of thing in this next example. This time, it's just the a is doing something a little different. Well, they're both doing something a little different, I guess, now that I think about it. So, going around in a circle like that. So the axle is going to be directly above that. Oh, there's, so there's actually a couple of different angles involved here. We now have, there's our wheel. Moving along. Um... So an additional angle to keep track of is that angle that I'll call, oh uh, gosh, um, alpha, just for, I don't know, call that angle alpha. So I claim that there's a relationship between alpha and theta. And uh, so I, I, need to, I need to lay out how that works. And th they both, the point is, relate to that distance that I'll call S. So this radius here was 100. Oh, it's uh, better. Yeah. Okay, so that's 100. So I claim that S, on the one hand, is equal to uh, 100 alpha. On the other hand, S, well, that's the distance traced out by that circle, which has been, which is rotated around by some angle theta. And that's radius 16, so S is also equal to 16 theta. And therefore, alpha and theta are, are related by that. Okay. Okay. So we'll get to, we'll substitute alphas and thetas later, but for the moment, let's just try to write down where things are. Um, the axle is, uh, well, conveniently, Z is always um, 16. So that's nice. 
And, well, the x and y coordinates, well, it's got a radius 100 going around, so this is just 100 uh, cosine alpha, and this is 100 sine alpha. All right, so there's our axial position. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Everybody okay? Everybody good? All right, now the next thing I've got to figure out is, oh, gosh, uh, what is happening to the reflector? And the problem is, is that the ref that reflector, I keep drawing it all the way to the end. It's not to the end. I need a new picture here. So our reflector is kind of angled. I'm going to draw an exaggerated picture just for convenience. Our, our reflector is kind of angled. There's our wheel. There's the axle. And the reflector is, let's say, something like that. Again, we want to talk about this R minus A. So to some extent, it's going to be pointing in that direction, and to some extent, it's going to be pointing in that direction. Does that make sense? And I claim I can write down uh, what those directions are based on knowing what alpha is. So th this direction here is easy. This is straight down. That's 0, 0, negative 1. This direction here, okay, well, uh, hmm. the unit vector describing that direction is, well, let's see, it's going like that. Um, that's going to be third coordinate 0, because that's the horizontal vector. Uh, let's see here. When alpha is small, let's see the x. What's that going to be? It's going to be ne negative sine alpha cosine alpha. So that's just a little little trig there. Let me pause there. I think that might have confused somebody. Yeah, no, it's pointing sort of in the direction that the wheel is going. It's a little unit vector pointing in the direction the wheel is pointing. Everybody okay? So this r minus a vector is going to be, well, and now, of course, it's going to, this angle theta is going to tell you to what extent is it, now this little thing is, wrote, the reflector is sort of rotating around, but to what extent is it going in that direction, and then plus to what extent is it going in that direction. So I'm going to write this as uh, r minus a equals, and I'm going to claim that it is uh, cosine theta times 0, 0, negative 1 plus sine theta times this guy here of negative sine alpha, cosine alpha, zero. Does that make sense? What do you think? No? No, I just got lost on the... Which part? Uh, what is it? Getting... Like where, where this came from? Where this came from. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So um, let's look at this from above. So I'm going to look from sort of, you know, from above like that. As seen from above, here's the, the path that we're going around. There's our little, our wheel is going to look like a little line there. Actually, that's a bad place to draw it. Let me draw it over here where the angles are more pronounced. Um, so that is our angle alpha. And we're trying to find this unit vector there that describes the direction that the wheel is pointing. Okay. So, all right, well, then let, let's just you know, think about what's the x-coordinate doing. So for that little unit vector, the x-coordinate is, well, it's negative in an amount proportional to sine alpha. So uh, said differently, that little vector is the same as that vector little vector of length 1. That angle there is alpha. And so this x coordinate is sine alpha. Well, it's negative sine alpha because it's going negative. Yeah. 
and then the y coordinate of that little vector, namely the vector we're interested in, the y coordinate is going to be cosine alpha. So that gives me that. And of course, this this direction vector is um, is horizontal, so the third coordinate is zero. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And then are you okay with how I used sines and cosines to? I mean, these are the two vectors that point in the in the. Um, I can't make my fingers do that. But the, the two different directions that sort of define the rotation. Um, theta. You know, if you were to drop a perpendicular there, drop a perpendicular there. Cosine theta tells you how much of that vector is inside of that vector. And then sine theta tells you how much of that vector is in that vector. So all together, there's your r minus a. And then earlier, we computed what a was. a was uh, this. So you've got a, you've got r minus a, and you add them up and that gives you r. So that's, you're kind of done, right? But the only thing is, is that, you know, this has got both thetas and alphas in it. Isn't theta define the other real number? Sorry? Isn't theta define the other real number? Oh, gosh. Ah, flip. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, hmm. Yes. Uh, thanks for noticing that. Uh, it, yeah, I had the wheel, I had the reflector ro rotating the wrong way, right? When you when you go forward, the reflector goes that way, not that way. So sorry about that. So it, it's, mm, yeah. So all I need to do is put a minus sign there. Because you know how much is is our our reflector pointing in in that direction? Well, it's going to be the negative, I mean, theta is now this angle, and the amount that we're pointing in that direction is negative sine of that angle. That make sense? Yeah, so sloppy me, I apologize. That's a, that's a minus. Um, yeah, okay, so you've got R minus, uh, excuse me, you've got A, you've got R minus A, you just add them up, and this has got both alphas uh, and thetas in it, though, but you can relate those to each other by way of this equation that uh, you can either solve for alpha in terms of theta or theta in terms of alpha. And it kind of doesn't matter, by the way. I mean, choose your parameter. It doesn't, I mean, we did theta in the past, but, you know, whatever. Probably easier to use theta here because uh, theta is going to be a, um, is, you know, what's that, 100 over 16 times alpha. And that's a greater than one as opposed to less than one. I don't know. It looks a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to have to call it a day.